We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We conclude this Easter season with the celebration of Pentecost. We ask the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts, to fill our hearts with the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, trusting in the Lord's healing mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you promised that the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, would descend upon us and protect us and guide and guard us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. And Lord Jesus, we place our trust in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, for the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church and every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord.
radiance bright. Come, O oh Father of the poor, come, whose treasured gifts endure. Come, our hearts unfailing light of consolers, wisest, best, and our soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment, sweet. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Growing up on a dairy farm, there are many different chores and responsibilities that we had. Of course, pretty much the most important job on a dairy farm is the responsibility of milking the cows. And all, all of our efforts would be kind of made, uh, would be attuned to making sure the cows hopefully gave as much milk as they could. And many times what would happen, this would happen every year, just a couple times, maybe two or three times a year, is you'd be milking the cows and things would be rolling along. And all of a sudden, just like that, the power goes out. 
Just like that, the power goes out. And when you've got many cows to milk, there's no way you can milk them all by hand. The only thing you can do is wait for the power to come back on. But without the power, everything stops. And the longer the power stops and we wait for it to come back on, the more the cows get agitated because the cows have a job to do as well and they want to do that job. And all of a sudden they start making sounds as well to kind of indicate that let's get with the program here. Let's, let's get, kind of get things moving. But until there is power, until the power has returned, we're stopped. There's nothing we can do. There's a mission and it's right in front of us. But we can't do anything about it. Maybe today, you know, when the Wi-Fi goes out or something like that and we're on a virtual meeting, just like that, there's, we, the connection is right with us. But without a connection, we can't do anything. When the power goes out, we're halted, we're stopped, we're paralyzed. And the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit is the power that makes everything possible within the church. Without the Holy Spirit, we have the mission to accomplish the, that Christ has given us. But without the Holy Spirit, it's the same thing of milking cows without power. It's impossible. You're stuck. We're stuck right where we are. It's the Holy Spirit that gives life to the church. It's the Holy Spirit that animates the church. Without the Holy Spirit, we have nothing. We have nothing. Because what does the Holy Spirit do? As we heard in St. Paul tell us that no one can say Jesus Christ is Lord without the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that makes God come alive in our hearts and in our world. And boy, do we need the Holy Spirit. Because without the Holy Spirit, it's all of, all of us trying to do it on our own. Trying to use our own kind of work ethic and our own gifts. But without the Holy Spirit, we can just do just a little, little bit. It's the Holy Spirit that gives us power. It's the Holy Spirit that animates us. And so we beg the Lord, especially in this time in our world, to send forth the Holy Spirit and to open our hearts through the powerful intercession of our dear Blessed Mother Mary, spouse of the Holy Spirit, to receive an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Placing our trust in Jesus Christ, let us present our prayers of petition. For innocent people in Ukraine and around the world harmed by violence or instability, may God bless and console them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us, may we break down the walls that divide us as the Holy Spirit broke down the divisions of language and ethnicity on that first Pentecost. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in need of healing, reconciliation, and peace, that they may know the Holy Spirit dwelling in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those graduating this year, may they give glory to God through the loving use of their talents and skills. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially among our viewers and listeners, may they know the healing power of the risen Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may they rejoice in the reward of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of California, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear these our prayers. Pour out the Holy Spirit upon them and upon each of our hearts. Grant all of our prayers according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of the sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as without end they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. So at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her an abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who is pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith. And by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. For viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.